long-term survival of gastric cancer is closely associated with primary tumor stage and nodal involvement. Tumors limited to the gastric wall and without evidence of nodal involvement, T1, T2, N0, are associated with a five-year survival probability of 65 to 85 percent, whereas locally advanced tumors, T3, T4, any N+, carry a considerably worse prognosis, with a five-year survival probabilities ranging from 20 percent to 50 percent. Therefore, to improve outcomes for locally advanced carcinoma, these tumors are often treated with neoadjuvant or perioperative chemotherapy regimens. Based on preoperative staging, patients are subjected to these treatment strategies. Among multiple imaging tests for staging of gastric cancer, endoscopic ultrasound has emerged as the most accurate tool for pre-therapeutic local regional tumor staging with somewhat better results in advanced than in early tumors. However, recent studies have shown somewhat contradictory results for endoscopic ultrasound accuracy in a routine clinical practice. Similarly, more modern imaging technology appears to equal the superiority of endoscopic ultrasound over other imaging modalities, although again, study findings are somewhat variable. In a recent study entitled Endoscopic Ultrasound Staging in Gastric Cancer, does it help management decisions in the era of new adjuvant treatment? Kutub et al. investigate the diagnostic accuracy of endoscopic ultrasound in clinical staging of gastric and cardiac carcinoma, focusing on the predictive accuracy of information available before surgery. For this purpose, they make the assumption that neoadjuvant or perioperative chemotherapy would be applied only in the case of locally advanced cancers, T3, T4, or any N+, and that primary surgery would be performed with T1, T2, N0 tumors. Here is a short summary of their findings. Endoscopic ultrasonography has been shown to be the most accurate test for local regional staging of upper gastrointestinal tumors. However, recent studies have questioned its accuracy level in daily clinical application. The present retrospective study analyzes the accuracy of endoscopic ultrasound in guiding interdisciplinary treatment decisions. 123 primarily operated patients, 63% men, mean age 61.4 years, were included. Only cases with tumor-free resection margins and without evidence of distant metastases were selected. Endoscopic ultrasound and histopathological findings were compared. Main outcome parameter was the distinction between tumors to be primarily operated, T1, T2, N0, and those to be treated by neoadjuvant or perioperative chemotherapy, T3, T4, or any N+, based on an assumed algorithm for treatment stratification. Overall staging accuracy of endoscopic ultrasound was 44.7% for T and 71.5% for N status, irrespective of tumor location. Overstaging was the main problem, 44.9% for T and 42.9% for N staging. The overall endoscopic ultrasound classification was correct in 79.7% with a sensitivity of 91.9% and specificity of 
0.4%. Only 19 out of 37 cases with histopathological T1, T2, N0 were correctly classified by endoscopic ultrasound. Positive and negative predictive values of endoscopic ultrasound in the diagnosing advanced tumor stage for assignment to neoadjuvant therapy were 81.4% and 73.1% respectively. Whereas endoscopic ultrasound has a high sensitivity in the diagnosis of locally advanced gastric cancer, endosonographic overstaging of T2 cancers appears to be a frequent problem. Endoscopic ultrasound stratification between local T1, T2, N0 and advanced T3, T4 or any N plus tumors would thus result in incorrect assignment to neoadjuvant treatment in half of the cases. The endoscopic ultrasound results for an advanced tumor have therefore limited predictive value despite the high sensitivity. Endosonographic understaging of advanced cancer is, however, infrequent. So, incorrect assignment to the surgical group would be less of a problem.